so in this video what I want to show you is how we might make this attribute of background color react to some other input and in fact I want this background color to change as I turn this dial all the way up so let's just take a look for a moment what value I am getting out of my dial usually defaults to 128 and it is okay so 0 to 127 that's 128 values so the top value that I'm getting is 127 the bottom is 0 so that's fine I want to normalize this to 0 to 1 so I'm gonna make a new object I'm gonna divide by 128 with a floating point here and then use a float object to just verify that I'm getting from 0 to 1. Okay. I am not because I'm dividing by 128. Let's go to 7. Okay. So what I have now is when I turn this dial up, I got 0, uh, zero at the bottom, 1 all the way at the top. So I'm going to set this to 0, 0. So you can see as I'm changing these values here, I'm changing the background color. So what I might want to do then is actually take the value of my current dial and use it to define my background color. So let's just see what happens when I connect up my dial value just straight into my background color attribute inspector. All right. So I'm sliding this down and I have go my dial going from black at zero all the way up through very bright red. My other numbers here are set to zero. Maybe I can make them uh, maybe not quite zero. See if that does anything different for me here. No, interesting. So what's happening here is that when I'm sending this dial value to my background color, it's zeroing out all of my other numbers here. So what's happening is that I'm sending one number to an attribute inspector that can take actually up to four numbers, red, green, blue, or alpha, RGBA. So what I'm gonna do here in order to have more control rather than just changing from black to red is I'm gonna just use a message. In my message, I will specify default values for each color. Let's say I wanna keep red as my uh, variable. So we'll start out with a dollar sign one for my input. And then let's do maybe 0.5 for green and uh, 0.2 for blue. Keep one, my alpha, that's my, my opacity. I want it to be fully opaque. So let's now move that message so that my dial value comes into this message, into this changeable argument here and then feed my message with my now list value rtba into my attribute inspector and let's see what that happens okay this is more like it so now i've got this green to yellow to orange very bright orange kind of spread and i really like how this looks so you can see how this visual interface, this sort of dynamic attribute changing based on some numbers that are happening in the patch might help you communicate some sort of interesting uh, changes visually immediately to the user of your patch.